Hello guys, because of this thing I have kind of been, and I'm gonna do a racing game I haven't done in a while. And it's been two decades, so it's called NASCAR Racing 2003 Season, so I might be lying a little bit, but it's kind of like 2002 a little bit. But with this being the 2003 edition that I it, haven't tried out because of, I don't know why, but I kind of want to focus on the NASCAR Xbox racing console instead of the PC version, so this is kind of the first time I'm trying this game, to be honest. So, so the first thing we're going to do is test that Daytona, work out the bugs, check the steering, brake, throttle, and clutch. So, yeah, first you get, got to calibrate the steering wheel, and then make sure when you have the steering box a certain way, yeah, make sure you don't hit the wall like I did. So, so I was kind of amazed with the graphics and the frames per second are amazing. So, unlike iRacing, this is the, my go-to game. You know, if if I can just figure out iRacing the way what the racecraft is with your competitors, you know. You'll probably get top five or top tens easily. So basically, on oval, and yeah, I'd be um. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, it's on the left side a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's because of the resolution size. So my apologies there because. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to customize the resolution a little bit, but it's 1200 by 800. So, yeah. It's going to be what it is, so hang on there, folks. I'm going to give you one heck of a ride, and to be honest, I was running well. Like, qualifying, I wasn't last. I was 42nd out of the 43rd. But it just hanged in there at the end, hoping that I won't crash. But my crew chief was telling me that the fuel pressure was getting low, and then, and then I hesitated and wanted to work my way through the pack. And unfortunately, I got, I hit right, yeah, not Ryan Blaney, Dave Blaney, the father of Ryan Blaney. So, yeah. I thought I was going to do good, but one of the fantasy drivers got into my path, and then my car was the total big time, and I got credited with a 40-second place finish, and hope for the next time, so unless I can go into YouTube and cheat a little bit, get some car setups, then I'd be able to figure out what can I get from this Xbox racing steering wheel? How do I calibrate it better? How do I fix the nuances of how much tug and on the wheel I need? Like plug and play, do this, do that, with the car setup. Yeah. This is how you uh, figure it out from there. So, yeah, so. I did it based on Daytona Race Weekend, to be exact, but not like this. Like, all the Daytona races are at night. <sighs> For, as of Labor Day weekend, so. So hopefully, when you watch this 50 minute clip of me testing, qualifying in the race, you probably know that and our 2003 wasn't a bad experience for me. Yeah. At least I had hung on to the back. So, so there you have it. So I'm in Capricorn FF. Hope you all have a great day and peace out.
Okay, here comes your first time lap. One more lap. 
low. Stay low. Keep low. Keep low. 47.974. Stay low. Stay low. You're on the bottom, three wide, outside. Keep low. Still there. You're on the bottom, three wide, outside. Clear outside. Forty eight point one six four. Seven point four three one. There's the cross flags. We're halfway home. 47.196. Keep low. Keep low. Keep low. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear outside.
come three wide. Hold your line. Outside. You're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside. Keep low. You're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside. Stay low. Keep low. Clear. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. Pit road is closed. You blew a tire. The pace cars on the back straight. You all right? Looks like we lost that motor. The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. The pace cars entering the tri -oval. The pace cars in the tri -oval. The pace car exiting the tri -oval. The pace car in turn one. The pace car in turn two. Pace cars on the back straight. The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. The pace cars entering the tri -oval. The pace car in the tri -oval. The pace car exiting the tri -oval. The pace cars in turn one. The pace cars in turn two.
The paint car on the back straight. Looks like we're running low on fuel. If that fuel pressure gauge starts to drop, come on in. It's over. We can't fix that damage. So I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day and peace out.